I just replaced the drive belt part hash 754-0467 and everything appears correct, but once my Super Bronco mover, 13-axe 60kh 011, warms up the mower will not stop, in both forward and reverse brakes won't stop it have to kill ignition, I think the new belt is binding on the engine Puyi once everything warms up. The drive pedal is not sticking and its connections are correct, however the tension pulleys are not keeping the belt centered on them see below. Are there solutions? Hello, thank you for allowing me to assist you, my name is I will be happy to assist you with your concern today. I will always try to reply back to you right away however please understand that I may be busy answering another customer back and thus it may sometimes take time to reply back to you. As soon as I return I will be sure to reply back to you as soon as I am able to. Start by checking the tension by adjusting the rod, if adjusting does not fix then there is a mechanical failure, be it something worn or broke or missing. If the belt is riding up and wearing then need to check the pulley bearings and or if bracket is bent. It seems you're saying that it stops fine until it warms up, this very well may be due to something getting too hot. That is in terms of the belt, now in terms of the brake that is a different assembly that does not even require the belt to stop as it has per se a pad and rotor as seen here http colon slash www.partstreet.com slash part slash question mark lc equals troy underscore built and mn equals 13 x 60 kh 011 plus super plus bronco plus percent 28208 percent 29 and dn equals 7690386600014 usually something is either broke with that brake, loose and requires adjustment or needs a new pad and to lube the pivot point. Bonuses are appreciated. If for any reason you are not satisfied please reply back to me for further assistance to which I will be glad to help you. The rating system is only to rate me as an expert not the site or the product. If you have any problems for any reason please reply back and let me know. Thanks again for using Just Answer, Pearl.com and have a great day. If you need any further assistance you can reply back at any time for my help. I'd be happy to answer any other questions you have even if not related. You'd said to check tension by adjusting the rod. What rod? The belt tension when the drive pedal isn't depressed is loose without a lot of slop. When the pedal is depressed the belt snugs up and smoothly delivers power. I'd mention the brake only to illustrate how strongly the engine is pulling when this happens. Otherwise the brake is fine on any terrain. I did check it, and it appears to be fine. Since it's a new belt I don't see any wear, but the old one lasted over 4 years. The belt does not appear centered on the tensioning pulleys which is the only friction point except the engine pulley where unstoppable power to the system could occur. Thanks, Joe. All other points in the belt path would cause a loss of power. Jerry, are you saying then instead that the brake is working it just cannot stop because it is also under a load trying to move? If so and you are not on the gas to accelerate slash move forward per se, yet it still wants to move, it sounds like something is actually too tight that or if the belt was routed wrong or too short for instance. Is there anything new you have found while waiting? Thanks, Joe. Yes the brake is fine as far as I can tell. No new information. I agree the behavior appears to indicate tightness. I rechecked the belt routing and it looks like the diagrams and the same as the old one I removed. The belt part number is it is definitely not too tight, there is a 3 to 4 inch play in the long axis between the drive pulley and the trans pulley under the seat. However from the rear pulley under the seat to the dual tensioning pulleys it does appear tight dot but that tightness does not go up to the drive pulley. I'm suspecting the pair of tension pulleys. If I were to attach a photo of the pulleys and show the belt routing, could that help in troubleshooting? 
Jerry, the trans slash diff as you know is belt driven by the engine, the only way for it to engage is for the shifter to be placed into forward motion or reverse which moves a tensioner, the tensioner is set with a resistance return spring thus if not engaging the trans slash diff the tensioner always returns to not engaging the belt. This would then seem there is a spring issue or possible issue with the tensioner, bracket or bearing slash pivot slash bolt and it could be causing the tensioner to get stuck. That is where I would next start looking. Thanks, Joe. Yes, the upper drive belt provides power to the transmission and its tension comes from a spring actuated by the shifter. If this spring were the problem then I'd never have power. The lower large belt appears to be the culprit. It shares a dual pulley with the upper belt. This is the pulley under the seat I mentioned. I'm investigating the tensioning pulleys again, it's the only place tension is introduced to the system. I wonder if they require alignment. I don't see where they could be adjusted, but I guess it's time to look. The tensioner should have a return spring and if that return spring was damaged the tensioner would not return and thus could keep tension on the system. I am not referring to the portion that pulls and puts tension on but instead the spring that is the return spring for the tensioner. In this link in the diagram number 34 is the adjustable rod I was referring to, http colon slash www.partstree.com slash parts slash question mark lc equals troy underscore built and mn equals 13 x 60 kh 011 plus super plus bronco plus percent 28208 percent 29 and dn equals 76903866001 thanks, Joe. The tensioner return spring is attached via the drive pedal assembly and appears fine in operation. I'm having difficulty with adjustment rod, idler arm. I don't know if it's frozen or just tight but I'm trying to be careful. Update, I adjusted the idler arm. It did not solve the problem. Re-ran the belt to confirm the path was correct without successfully solving the problem. I think it's time to call a mechanic and turn it over to him. If you have a home improvement or appliance question and want to chat with an expert now visit justanswer.com slash YTHI.